if you let your girl have a guy friend, you are literally telling her it's okay to cheat. There should be no other man in your woman's life that has access to her emotionally or physically. What's good guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I'm here to tell you about the 10 mistakes I made in 2023 with women and why you should not make them in 2024. Let's jump right into it. The first mistake I made with women in 2023, I was a guy who believed women played hard to get. I was naive. I thought that when a woman gave me her number, I had to keep asking her out. Rightfully so, she's the she's the highness. She should take as long as she wants in getting back to me. I thought that if she didn't make herself available right away, it's because I just need to try harder. I thought as a man, the more times I tried, the closer I got to getting the girl on a date. I thought if I begged her enough, she should get me on a date. Do you see how foolish that sounds, guys? Do you see why this is a mistake that I see a lot of guys make? You try to prove yourself consistently to women and it never works out. The more effort you put in, the less results you give women. The more you try, the less they try. Women respond opposite. They're not logical creatures. They're not us. We respond to effort. We respond to dedication. We respond to, to somebody being present. They're not the same. When you give a woman a lot of your time and energy or you keep asking her how, you're just telling her that, hey, you don't have that many girls that look better than me, so you're putting up on my bullshit. You do not keep trying when a woman tells you no. You do not try to prove yourself when a woman tells you I'll let you know. That just makes you look foolish. That just makes it look like you don't have that many options. Women are there to pick the best guy for them and they don't mind wasting your time to do so. So if you ask her out once, the correct thing to do is not to ask her out 10 more times and then until she says yes, if you ask her out once and she doesn't make herself available, that is your indicator that she doesn't like you. That is your indicator that she thinks that there's something out there better for her. Guys, come on, man. Have some fucking self-respect. Somebody tells you that they think they can do better than you. Somebody tells you that, you know, me spending time with you, it's not a priority to me. Why would you still want to go out with that person? It makes you look weak and worse. A woman will respect you more when you when she tells you, I'll let you know, or when she doesn't make herself available, she will actually come back when you tell her to kick rocks. You don't gotta text her that. Just show her with your behavior. Don't ask her out again. Show her that you can do better. She gonna come running back. Cause she like, damn, I thought he would chase. I thought he would beg. This happens to me all the time. Women will be like, oh, I'm not so sure. And think that I'll keep chasing them. I just stop responding. Here they come a few days later. Hey, are you free this weekend? Hey, what happened to you? Why you stopped messaging me? Yeah, you, re you realize I wasn't the one. You realize I'm not the motherfucker that's going to be begging you on no damn dates. Because I probably forgot who you are by now. Number two, I was a guy who believed that women would sleep with me the more I complimented them. I was a guy who thought the more I called her beautiful, the more I called her angel, the more I called her sweetheart, the more I showered her with affectionate terms, the closer I got to booty. But when I went on that date, it seemed like she tested me more. When I went on that date, it seemed like she was more reluctant on my advances. When I went on that date, it seemed like she felt like she was doing me a favor. Compliments are reserved for when a woman does things that are not related to her looks that improve your life. When a woman is doing things that enhance who you are as a man, that's when you compliment her. When she's being nurturing, when she's cooking, when she's cleaning, that's when you compliment her. Don't compliment her for fucking existing. But where does this come from? This comes from a man repeatedly being told, you're supposed to call her beautiful. You're supposed to call her angel. You're supposed to tell her how nice she looks. And then we do it, we do it, we do it, we do it. We don't get the results we want. You find me. You get on YouTube. Why is she behaving like this? And here I come. Showering women with validation and compliments they will claim and swear that they love it. Oh, don't listen to those guys. Those guys don't know what they're talking about. Don't listen to me. Yeah, don't listen to me. Yeah, she's right. Don't listen to me. Look at what she does. <laughs> I don't want you to listen to me, my G. Look at what she does. And I'm gonna let you decide who's correct or not. Who is she chasing? How does she treat you when you compliment her? Does she compliment you back and pursue you? Or does she act like her shit don't stink? Does she act like now nah, you gotta do her a favor? So who do you believe? You don't gotta listen to me. Just look at her actions. 
how does she treat you when you compliment her when you call her beautiful when you keep showering her with these affectionate endearments what does she do she plays more games she tests more she flakes more she requires you to put in a little bit more effort and there you go giving her all that power and leverage because you can't keep your validation to yourself keep that damn validation to yourself baby yeah great in my mind the only reason i'm out with you because i think you cute but that ain't enough for me i don't even know if i like you yet you having a fat ass ain't gonna make me marry you you having a fat ass ain't gonna make me take you on a damn date i don't give a shit there are plenty of girls with fat asses who also look good who also can improve my life you what you were given what you didn't have to earn does not make you a catch to me as a woman your face and your and your smile god gave you that I want to know how you can improve my life. You looking a certain way doesn't make you a better person than me. So that's the guy I was. I was the guy who complimented them, gave them a lot of attention and validation, told them how beautiful they were. Was that you? Number three, I was a guy who believed she needed to get to know me more through text. I was the guy who, when I got a girl's number, I would text her for a few days. We would talk. I would know everything about her. But whenever I asked her off on a date, she told me she needed to get to know me more. I'm like, huh? I thought I got to know you pretty well in the last few days. I'm over here texting you. I was on in. Tell, you telling me about all your life story. But when I ask you on a date, you still need to get to know me more. How the hell does that work? When a woman is telling you, Day. she needs to get to know you more through text this is translation i'm sleeping with pookie and ray ray i got chad blowing my back out but i don't mind talking to you for free free attention oh don't worry your spot in my life right now ain't to give me ain't, ain't to give me the d and to rearrange my guts i got that spot filled out right now but your spot your spot is to make me feel good when chad and answering my calls your spot is to make me boost my ego up when I can't get a hold of him, the guy I really want. Don't fall for the nonsense. When a woman likes you, she makes herself available. When a woman likes you, she doesn't need to get to know you for 50 years, bro. It's all nonsense. Because guess what? There was a guy she didn't even have to know who he is to go on a date and sleep with him. Like I said, don't listen to me. Look at what they do. Look at how they treat celebrities that don't even know they exist. Look at how they treat celebrities that don't even know they exist. These women go to concerts. They pay for pictures with these dudes. They pay for their concerts. They go to their concerts. They flash in their boobs. This dude doesn't even know they exist. The Drakes, the Justin Bieber's, the Trey Songs, the Ushers, all these guys. These dudes don't even know they exist. She's just a face of the hundreds of thousands of faces he sees at his concert. She's nobody to him. But how does she treat him? She treats him like a guy. She prays to be able to go backstage and get stroked by him. She's hopping on the bus doing whatever he wants. But she's telling you, I got to get to know you more through text. No way, bro. Text messages should be left for setting dates. If a woman needs to get to know me through text, I just stop talking. Not the girl for me. Number four. I was a guy who believed she was celibate. I was a guy who went on a couple dates with girls. It went well, the chemistry was there. I actually took them on several dates. And when they finally got to the, to the time to get in the sack, the girl told me that she's been celibate for the last year. She's been celibate for the last two years. And I believed her. She told me she's in a new phase of her life. She told me she's waiting for marriage, even though she's not a virgin. She told me, I don't want to give myself out there no more. And I believed it. Meanwhile, Tyrone from around the corner strokes her every time every time he wants. All he has to do is hit her up. When a woman tells you she's celibate, that's a translation for, I'm tired of being ran through. So I'm trying to make sure when I sleep with the next guy, I get something for it. That is not a good sign. How much were you doing that you had to turn celibate? She's late 20s, 30s. She's had plenty of partners. Now she wants to turn celibate for you. What do you think that means, bro? She's looking for a beta male provider. She's looking for a guy to come take care of her in exchange for what she's already given to a lot of dudes. That's not a fair deal. When a woman is celibate, it usually means this is her strategy to get a man to lock her down, to get a man to give her commitment because what she's been doing before didn't work. If the guys in her past loved who she was, wanting to marry her, she wouldn't be available to tell you this nonsense. So what she was doing didn't work. Don't fall for it, bro. Number six, I was a guy who thought 
it was okay for my girl to have guy friends. I was the guy who said, what? I'm not insecure. My girl can have as many guy friends as she wants. My girl can go to the club with her guy friends. And then when me and my girl have a little argument, I was always wondering why she was always by her guy friend house. I was always wondering why the guy friend would call her late at night. I was always wondering why was there, was there was some kind of sexual tension between my girl and her guy friends. If you let your girl have a guy friend, you're literally telling her it's okay to cheat. There should be no other man in your woman's life that has access to her emotionally or physically. Please think about this. When you let your girl have a guy friend, you tell her that she can have another man in her life that has access to her emotionally. And what do you know about women? You get the mind, you get everything else. So you literally letting her go be guy friends with a dude who's playing a game. He's nurturing her emotions, telling her what she wants to hear. He's talking shit about you. When you guys have problems, he's in the guts. Stroking her to sleep. Yo, chick, you cannot be foolish enough to let women have their cake and eat it too. They would rather have a boyfriend in their arms, security, and be nurturing other relationships just in case you screw up. That is their exit strategy. Women have multiple plans of boyfriends. Women have multiple plans of who's next. They know who's next. Why do you think when women break up with you, they move on so damn fast? Because they already knew your replacement. Don't be foolish, bro. You're, she gonna tell you, you're insecure. You're insecure. You're not a man. Oh, I'm very a man. Much of it. And a man has boundaries and principles that he won't tolerate or let get crossed. If you're my girl, there are no guy friends. If you don't like it, you don't have to be my girl. Number seven, I was a guy who thought opening up more meant my girl would love me. I was a guy who thought pillow talking, sharing my feelings, my darkest, darkest secrets with my girl will build our attachment. Why? Because that's what I heard on the news. That's what I heard on TikTok. I heard the girls saying that guys are guys think that they can be cold-hearted but that means we ain't gonna love them and i listened i started opening up to my girl telling her i really felt about her telling her how much i missed her and i cared about her and how i'll be willing to die for her and then i noticed i started to play games with me and i noticed how hard to pull back then i noticed she started to disrespect me right after i started to open up i was that guy you never be the guy that opens up to a woman in that term guys this does not mean you're not emotionally intelligent, but when it comes to women, there needs to be a shield that doesn't allow them to self-destruct. Women will fuck your shit up, bro. They're looking for weakness. That's what guys don't understand. She's looking for weakness in you. She's looking for you to crack. She's looking for you to bend. So she will encourage you to open up to see that weakness so she can go cheat. She wants to know that she's conquered you. She wants to know that she now has leverage. This does not mean you can't care for your girl, you can't love your girl, but I want you to show her through your actions. I don't want you to pillow talk. I don't want you to spill out your feelings. You're a man. You should grab down there and she have two balls. You should. I'm not sure with a lot of y'all, but you should. You don't let your words speak for you. Let your actions speak for you. So you show a woman you love about how much you, how, how well you treat her. Not necessarily spoiling her by being there for her, leading her, guiding her, right? Giving her new experiences, doing good things for her when she deserves it. That's how you show women you love her. You don't got to sit in bed with her and, and, oh, baby, I care about you so much. And you're the if you, you, you sound like one of her girlfriends. She's losing more and more interest in you and she doesn't even know why. Women don't know what the hell they want. And if you give them what they think they want, they will make you pay for it. Number eight. I was a guy who let my girl on girls trips. I thought my girl coming to Miami, why not? Let her go with her girlfriends and have a good time. Go to the club or amongst ballers. You know what I'm saying? Go be around guys like FedEx Fearless. The guys with penthouses and yachts with her girlfriends who are single that are also thoughts. I thought that was a good idea. Till my girlfriend came back and was acting a little weird. Till my girlfriend came back and I seen a hickey on her neck. So when my girlfriend was in Miami, I couldn't get a hold of her some nights. She told me her phone died. Never in your life let your woman go on a girl's trip. You don't get to act single and call me your boyfriend. 
What do you think girls are doing when they go to Miami? When they go on these girls trips? They go to the Caribbean. They go on these cruises. They're trying to get stroked. Bro, I get the most box when girls are on holidays. Free will. The, the, most, the most cheeks you could think of when girls are in town. Whenever there's an activity or an event or a spring break. Oh, my Lord. She trying to get stroked. And they do it because it's an opportunity to let loose. They do it because they can be free will. They don't have to think about it when they go back to town. I've literally, guys, been with girls in full, like, I didn't realize it until the girl told me, full-blown committed relationship. She's with her friend visiting a new town. She over here gobbling the up. I'm like, what? Sucking it up. Oh yeah, you know, I talked to a guy back home go to her instagram do some investigating after she come through full-blown relationship boyfriend on the page and everything don't be that guy man your girlfriend is going on girls trips you could tell her hey you can go on that girls trip if you want to but you're gonna be single you ain't gonna be fucking with me when you come back do not allow yourself to be cheated on and manipulated and gaslighted because they will gaslight you oh you 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 never let me do anything you never let me have freedom maybe not nah, you can do whatever you want to do I just have principles and boundaries. You can go to as many clubs, have as many guy friends, go on as many girls trips, single, not with me. They will gaslight you to make you look like you're insecure for having boundaries. Number nine, I was a guy that let my girlfriend post thirst traps on Instagram. What? My girl can't have an Instagram public where she's bending it over, busting it open for guys who don't know who she is. I was that guy. I was the guy that said, hey, baby, post whatever you want to post. I was the guy commenting on the post of my girl. Man, that's insane, man. I've seen dudes literally comment on their girl's thirst traps on a, on a public page to thousands of dudes. He over here thinking he's doing something, posting heart eyes under her pictures like the dude who's, who's stroking her on the side ain't laughing at your ass. Let me tell you something, sucker. When you let your girl post whatever she want to post on the internet and you think you claiming your territory by <laughs> commenting on her post, the thirst trap, she bent over halfway naked. You commenting with, with hard eyes. Mine, my girl, the dude who's, who's stroking her, laughing at your ass. He with his homeboys. Man, look at this idiot, man. This dude a simp. <laughs> I was just in them guts the other night laughing at you. You, when a woman is with you, bro, there's no free reign. As a matter of fact, that Instagram should be on private. Out of respect to you. I don't want my woman to be indirectly opening up access to other men. Why can't she be on private? Why can't she only have access to the, the friends and family? Why is she posting half naked? It ain't for me, but she'll tell you it's for you. Oh, baby, I just want to feel confident. Really? That's what it is? Half naked, butt cheeks out. It's for yourself not for the attention and the likes and the dms you get she's looking for your replacement bro don't let her embarrass you like that if a girl's gonna be with you private instagram or you're not my girl when she makes her instagram public people can see her pictures and dm her when she makes it private she can only accept requests and this doesn't mean she can't cheat with a private instagram because they do it too but i'm saying i'm not gonna be publicly disrespected the the things i've seen girls do guys is unbelievable I've seen girls DM me with their boyfriend on their page. The, the dude over here thinking he's doing something, posting her on his page. She will cheat more when she got you on her page. She don't give a damn. She doing that to make you think you got her. But in them DMs, she's sending me a DM. I've seen it happen. She's pursuing me. I've, I've seen more girls, guys. I put my right hand up. I've seen more girls with boyfriends pursue me than single girls. More girls with boyfriends would DM me. It's unbelievable. It's like they want to cheat more. It's like they get the boyfriend to cheat more. It's like the girl is more faithful when she's single. It's unbelievable. And lastly, number 10, I was a guy that believed my girl just needed a break. Oh, she told me, baby, we need a break. Relationship is becoming too stressful. We need a break. I need some time to figure myself out. A week went by, two weeks went by. I seen her at all the clubs. She was partying it up. A month later, she comes back. I miss you, baby, I wanna get back together. I'm like, yeah, what were you doing in that month? I'm gonna tell you what she was doing. <laughs> Trying to find your replacement and she didn't get it. Every single time a woman asks for a break, 
she's looking for a better guy than you. She's just coining it a break. But that break is to find your replacement. That break is to go hit you, hit you know, hit you with the deuces. Cause she wants to go see who is better than this dude. That's how the girl that broke my heart got me. Can we take a break for a week? You know what she was doing that week? She came back out of the break. Um, it's not gonna work out. You know why? She thought she found the better dude. Uh, look at me now. But that's what happens, guys. When the, when the woman is telling you break, I would rather you slap me in the face and, sp and spit on me than tell me a break. I think it's that disrespectful. I think a break is 10 times worse than a breakup. I would rather a woman care enough about me to tell me, hey, baby, this is not going to work out. We should go our separate ways. Than for you to tell me, let's take a break. A break is telling me literally, I think you're so stupid to still be here while I go experiment by bouncing on Tyrone, Jerome, Marcus, Chad. Let me go bounce on their digging sticks. Let me go, let me go see what they feel like. And if, if they don't want me, you should still be here to take me back. Cause we're just on a break. If a girl tell you she wants to break, break it off. No, thank you. The moment you hear a break, just end it. Take it on the chin and just move on. Accept it. Say, yeah, it's okay. No worries, you right. And never talk to her again. She literally just told you that she has no respect for you and that she she's going to try to go play the field and hope you stay. If a woman tells you that, man, I wouldn't be so mad at you. I would be mad at you. Yeah, I would be mad at you. If you take a girl back that broke up with you because you don't have no respect for yourself. But I would be even more mad if a girl told you, let's take a break and you took her back. Do you know what she was gobbling on during that break? You know what she was sucking and, and bouncing on? You couldn't even imagine. All right, guys, and that's it, man. These are the 10 dumb mistakes I made in 2023. I don't make these mistakes in 2024. 